Okay, I had a request to show my um, my setup, how my panels were set up, what my panels were, and all of that. So it's dark right now. It's about midnight, so I can't go out and actually show you the panels. But this right here is my my drawing that I did when I was laying everything out and this will give you an idea probably better than me showing you the actual panels in the back but this right here this is my battery bank this is one bank of panels and this one here is the other bank of panels and uh, we'll start off with the first bank of batteries I mean of, of panels these panels are um, 24 volt man my mind's just going blank I'm ready to go to bed but let's see if I can get through this these panels are 24 volt 235 watts a piece and they are 7.88 amps and uh, you can see right here it this bank right here comes out to be 2115 watts when I tied them all together it came up to 111 volts DC and then um, the amps added up to 25.35 amps. And this is open circuit voltage in amps. Um, I got let's see here. I got three three panels in series which I took let's start over here I took the positive to this negative this positive to this negative I did the same thing up here on these three positive negative positive to negative then I did the same thing on this three positive to negative positive to negative and what I ended up with was one, two, three negatives and one, two, three positives. So what I did was I made some Y connectors. And when I made the Y connectors, I came off of this one, went into one side of the Y, the other side of the Y plug to this negative, and then the other side came up here to this one to this Y, the Y plugged into here, circled up, and it continued. So I put all these negatives together on this, bam, bam, and this went back to the inverter, this one here. Same thing over here. Came off of this positive to that positive, that positive to that positive. This positive came directly and went to the inverter. Then I did the same thing over here on bank two. So that's nine panels. This is nine panels. That makes 18. This is the same thing. Uh, 2,115 watts on this bank here. 11, I mean 111 uh, volts DC. Uh, 25.35 amps. It's both both of these is identical. Both of them is wired identical. So I came positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. I did that on all of them. Then I wired all the positives, I mean the negatives together. And then I wired all the positives together. And then this went back to the inverter. These two here went back to the inverter, tied into the inverter. 
this is bank one, this is bank two. Then it, this is my battery bank. Um, this is uh, eight point four five amps each module. So that module, each module is eight point four five amps. Uh, 7.88 amps is the nominal voltage. 37.0 VDC. 29.8 VDC. Alright, so what I did was I wired all of these. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All of these is wired into series. That means all the positives is together, all the negatives together. This one is the same, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same. All of them is the same. They wired in all the positives and all the negatives. Then I'm using this negative here, goes back to the inverter. This positive here is going over to this negative. So what it's doing is forcing the current to have to go through all the batteries. Cross over into this one, go through all the batteries. Cross over into this one, go through all the batteries. Cross over to that one. It continues and do that all the way down through all seven um, banks. And once it comes out down here on this end here, which is positive, it comes out of here at... 50, uh, let's see, 58.2, I believe, uh, fully charged, but I don't fully charge them. I, I normally charge them up to about 57.3, I believe, is, is where they um, top off at. But that is how my panels are. This is how my batteries are. And I hope that helped you. And as soon as I get a chance, I will get some video of my my panels on the back side. And you can get an idea, but I think that would give you a better idea than actually looking at the at the panels. But this is the batteries, as I was saying. This is positive. All the positives on all of these batteries here is tied together. This right here is negative. All the negatives on this is tied together. And then this positive is coming to this negative. It's making the current have to flow through all the batteries. Then it's coming across here. It's going over here. Got to flow through all the batteries. So that's why I did it that way. And it makes it makes the energy have to flow through all the batteries, and that keeps them in balance. So, yeah, I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, um, I'll answer them as soon as I can. Uh, thank you. Have a good night.